Hey guys, my name is Isabella and welcome to my ASMR channel. So before we get into today's video, just want to remind everyone about a couple of things. First, I have a Patreon where for $3 a month you can get five extra ASMR videos each and every month. I also have an OnlyFans, so if that's something you might be interested in, you can find the link to that down below. Additionally, if you're looking for a custom video, check out my Wizio, where I make all of my custom videos. Hello. My name is Isabella. I am the secretary at Dr. Gilbert's office. I just noticed you sitting over here. I tried to kind of wave you down, get your attention, but... You had your headphones in, so I don't think you heard me. I just need you to come over to my desk for a moment so I can just get you checked in and ready to go for your appointment with Dr. Gilbert. Mm -hmm. Just a few questions. Um, I know there was an online form that you filled out, um, which I appreciate. Thank you. So that makes the check-in process a lot quicker, but I still do need to just verify some things, get a look at your health insurance. We want to make sure that you are not having to pay out of pocket today. So um, once we do that, Dr. Gilbert will see you. You're our first patient of the day, so you won't have to wait or anything, and we're just getting your exam room set up right now. Perfect. So just follow me. We'll make it really quick and I'm sure you have a busy day ahead of you, so we don't want to hold you up. <laughs> Definitely. Love your shoes, by the way. Really, really nice. Follow me. Okay, so let's just start by, do you have your health insurance with you currently? Okay, just when you are ready, if you could just hand it to me and I will just kind of make a copy of it, get the relevant information that we need to contact your insurance company. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so this is an out-of-state insurance plan. Do you know... Okay, so you just moved here. Okay, I understand. Um, hmm. I'm going to contact our office manager and ask how we go about an out-of-state plan because I'm not certain what the protocol is. Just wait one moment. Thank you. Good morning, Cheryl. Hi, it's Isabella. Um, I just had a quick question. So, we have a patient here right now checking in for their exam, and their insurance is an out-of-state plan. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I will... I will do that then. Mm -hmm. It's PPO. Okay. Great. Thank you so much. Okay, so we are going to take down the insurance. Um, I'm going to contact the insurance company while you're in your exam. On your way out, come back and see me and I will let you know if it was covered or not and then you can just pay your copay or we can work out some type of payment plan if insurance says they won't cover this visit. Do you want to move ahead with the visit? Do, do you want to reschedule? Okay. Um... Out of pocket, roughly like a hundred. It depends if there are any tests or um, any additional things that Dr. Gilbert suggests doing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you are our first-time patient, correct? 
Okay, and are you familiar with our patient portal? It's really great. All of your test results, notes from your doctor, everything is uploaded to your patient por portal. Sorry, can't talk today. So how that will work is you will get a printout of an activation code um, and the link that you want to use, the website um, that you will use to activate the code, activate your portal, and you can make appointments from there. You can request prescription refills. You can, you can do everything, anything and everything that you need to do when it comes to communicating with our office and your doctor can be done on that portal. And we have a lot of specialists that are also on that same portal, which makes it really easy because we are all under the same hospital. Mm -hmm. I know. It is. It is a nice system, right? Okay, so I will get that printed for you. I will give that to you at the end when you're checking out. And for now, let me see if there's anything else that I need. What is your date of birth? Perfect. And can you just confirm the spelling of your last name? Perfect. Thank you. Okay. So what brought you to this area? What, how, what are you here for? Okay, new job. Very nice. Have you started the job? Are you liking it? It's good. Have you found yourself enjoying the area? Where'd you move here from? Okay, well, based on the health insurance, I guess that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So it's a bit of, bit of a change for you. Yeah, change can be good though, right? Just wanna make one more call, I'm sorry about that. Hi Cheryl. In the meantime, while I am looking into the insurance information, is there something that I should put in the form, the online form, where the insurance information goes? Should I not place it in until we know if it's going to be accepted or not? Okay. Yeah, just because when you select the name, um, it, it's not listed. Okay. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. She's the best. I'm always calling her like every 15 minutes with a question. So far, she's never, <laughs> never gotten irritated with me, which is obviously very nice. <laughs> this office has been here for about four years. I've been working here for about two years. A really great group, Dr. Gilbert. You picked a good doctor, really cares about every single patient that walks through the door, um, gives out personal cell phone number, email, always picking up the phone after hours if a patient has any problem, any concern. Such a great doctor. You can take your insurance card back, by the way. Um, I filled out all the information, so we should be good to go. And are there any concerns aside from it just being like a standard physical that you want me to make in here as a note to Dr. Gilbert? Um, okay. And you filled out everything on the online form about your past medical history, except it looks like um, any current medications or prescriptions. Okay. Do you know how many milligrams? Okay. And you were just taking that 
for for an infection. What, what kind of infection? Okay. And where did you get the prescription from? Okay, just like an urgent care. Okay, so you have... Okay, so... Mm -hmm. Twice a day, seven days, today's your last day. Um, okay, all of that is noted. I think we're almost done. You can have a seat. I will call you back here if for some reason I forgot something, but we'll be good. I'll look into the insurance um, for you, and by the time you are leaving your appointment, we should have all of that figured out for you. Okay? Okay. Yep, one of the nurses will be out, um, and they'll just they'll call you in when they're ready for you, but you shouldn't have to wait too long. Hello, I'm looking to speak with David. This is Dr. Gilbert's office calling. Hi David, I just wanted to confirm that you have an appointment with Dr. Gilbert tomorrow at 2.30 p.m. Okay, and I'm going to be sending you over some online forms for you to fill out, just asking about any changes to your medical history since your last visit. And if for some reason you aren't able to fill those forms out before your appointment, we just ask that you get here about 15 minutes early so that you can do them in office. Okay, great. We will see you tomorrow. Have an amazing day. Bye, David. Hi Jennifer, this is Dr. Gilbert's office returning your call. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so I wouldn't be able to answer that answer that for you, but I will pass that along to one of our nurses and they will speak with Dr. Gilbert, give you a call back with an answer to that. But the two medications um, you said are, okay. Okay. And were both of them prescribed by our office? Okay. Okay, super. Yep. So you should be hearing back from someone within the next couple of hours and we will make sure that there is no interaction. But if Dr. Gilbert did prescribe both of those, I would think that it is fine. But again, I want to get you a solid answer on that. So don't start taking the second medication until, until you get a call back from someone here at the office. Okay, great. Yep, someone will reach out to you shortly. Thank you. Take care. Bye. You can, you can head in with the nurse. They're ready for you. Okay, and remember to stop by here about insurance when you're done with your visit. Hi, my name is Isabella. I'm calling from Dr. Gilbert's office. I'm looking to speak with Rebecca. 
Hi, Rebecca. I just wanted to confirm with you that you have an appointment tomorrow at 3 p.m. with Dr. Gilbert. Mm-hmm. And this is your first visit to our office, so do you need our address or... Okay. Okay, yep. Yep, the address is on our website, so you will enter the building. We're on the second floor, and we are Suite A. Okay, perfect call. If you have any questions at all. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes, yes. I did. I did send you the online form to complete before arriving at our office. If for some reason you have problem filling out that form, just we ask that you get here about 15 minutes before your appointment so that you can fill out the medical history form. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Just do that then. Just do that. Perfect. See you then. Have a great day. is Isabella. I'm calling from a physician's office regarding um, a patient who has an out-of-state, med well, they have your medical plan out-of-state, um, and I wanted to check to see if their visit today is covered. Okay. Our office code is 301-925- 6483 Okay. Thank you. Mhm mm and there so their plan number is the member ID is 3421986 Zero four. Group number is one one three two four two. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much. Mm hmm. Nope. That's all. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Mm -hmm. Hi, checking out. How was your visit with Dr. Gilbert? Great, great. I know, I know. Okay, and do you need a follow-up appointment? Okay. Okay, perfect. So I spoke with the insurance company. Your copay today is $5. Very affordable. So we can either send you your bill in the mail. Would you like to just pay right now? Okay. Okay, and the address we have on file for you is 134 North High Street. Okay, perfect. And is that an apartment or a home? Okay, what's the unit number? 
Okay, 116, got it. Okay, so we'll send that to you. Usually takes a couple of weeks by the time, you know, it goes through all of our different branches, but you should be getting in a couple of weeks and you can use our, it's actually on our portal, um, activation code as well. You know, let me, what's your email? So I'm going to send an email over. I was going to do a printout, but it's probably just easier unless you prefer a printout. Okay, then I'll just email it to you. You should be getting that email any second. I just sent it. So you'll go on, you will create your portal account, and by the time your bill comes, you can just go on to um, the menu bar, there's a section pay my bill, and you just put in the amount that you owe, the date of your visit, and you can pay um, debit card, credit card, you might be able to pay with PayPal, I'm not 100% certain. Okay, but no follow-up, so you are all set. It was really great meeting you, I'm so glad that you enjoyed your visit with Dr. Gilbert, and call if you need us. Take care. Have an amazing day. <laughs>Isabella from Dr. Gilbert's office. I'm returning a call that we received from Evan. Hi Evan. Hi. Um, so we, we saw you called and we just wanted to check in to see how we can help you. Okay, so you just need a refill on a prescription. Great. So, you know, you can actually call the pharmacy that you use and they will send something electronically to us that we can just approve. Dr. Gilbert will approve it and okay it. Um, and you should be able to pick your prescription up by maybe this afternoon, but I will get right on that. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Bye Evan. this is Isabella calling from Dr. Gilbert's office. This is just a courtesy call reminding you of your appointment tomorrow at 4 p.m. If you need to cancel or reschedule, please give us a call back at 123-456-7890. Thank you. Goodbye. checking in today. Great. What's your first and last name? Thank you all for watching. I'd like to end this video by giving a special shout out